Plastic surgery is not what totally ruined Madonna's face. And I'm gonna explain in this video. Hi, I'm Frédéric. I'm a big Madonna's fan, by the way. I grew up with her and this video, it was not easy for me. So just let's talk about what's happening exactly with her. To me, she's an icon, untouchable, but the last couple of years, even me, I've been changing a bit my mind. So Madonna is 64 years old and she was barely unrecognizable at the last Grammy Award this year when she appeared and made a speech. And everybody, everybody, every news, social media, YouTubers, TikToker, Instagrammer start bashing her. And I really, really didn't like that because Madonna always had some hate coming from the media. So I don't want to do that in this video. But saying that, I will rather to show you a couple of photos when I think she looked her best. And of course, I'm taking in consideration that uh, she's aging. She's in the 60s now, you know, but she is not aging well and people think it's too much plastic surgery and I'm pretty sure it's not only. So some people as well, you know, I hate when they're doing that. They're comparing someone, celebrity in their 20s to after in their 50s. Oh, look what she changed. Everybody changed. Even me, now I've shown recently to a friend a picture of me in my 30s. She didn't recognize me in my 30s. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I age. What can I say? But I like looking at Madonna in a mature years when I think she was on the prom and look really beautiful. I don't think at the time her face was very altered. She's got some bit of a wrinkles, a bit of a saggy skin. She still looks beautiful and, and absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, and the wrinkle looks really good. But obviously, she's probably have a different point of view about that. But then she appears at the Grammy Award and that was a big shock to everybody and me included. Her face has zero wrinkles. It's really wild. It's really Plump. I'm not going to say plump, actually. It just, it just looks like a different face, you know. I think she as well recently shaved the eyebrows, so he removed a bit of expression. And she's wearing something up to the neck, so it's literally, I don't know, it looks like she's like a, a football player and uh, did even show a bit of a skin, even a bit of a cleavage. And yes, we, we didn't recognize her, to be honest with you. And it's so nasty, but it's so funny in the same time comparing her to the horror movie So, you know, this little puppet horrible on a tricycle, you know, and if you put photos with them to each other, yeah, you can see a bit of resemblance, but I will never do that to Madonna. I respect and love her way too much. But as you can tell, a face is really puffed. I mean, that's the only thing I can put that politely. And also she was criticized recently. And even me, I follow Madonna on TikTok, on Instagram, but I was a bit triggered. A couple of videos, I look at her and I'm like, what is happening? Because I think she's losing her marbles. Yeah, so let's have a look at the first one first. And that's not the worst. It was worse than that with the same, exactly the same music, the same angle, but this one, I think a lot of people talk so much about it. She even removed it on the feed. And then I've seen a couple of comments really, really hurt me who said the legacy is being destroyed year by year. Oh dear, I adore you. She was so beautiful. She's actually, it's not only being beautiful, she's talented, period. She's an icon, Madonna is only one in the world, the most iconic. But some people find her scary or absolutely no regrets. And um, I'm going to show you another one as well because, I mean, I don't know her personally. I saw her in a concert. Amazing. Even if she didn't show up for the first three hours we've been waiting, that was in Sydney. But amazing. I mean, Madonna, you know, it's exactly what you expect when she comes on stage. She, she, you just got eyes for her. She, her voice, she's moving, the dancing, the choreography, everything is just like, wow. I, I think I had, I lost my voice. I was singing so much but I think I had my jaw dropped for during the whole concert and I'm like I can't believe she's only a few meters away of me <laughs> big 
hard fun. So this video was really hard for me to do it. And actually I thought about filming last week and then I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna do it here. And then I find this video and you tell me, you tell me if not something wrong with Madonna. Okay, so Madonna, maybe, you know, she, she's creative. She can have any team around her, how to use TikTok or holding a camera for an angle. You know, we all did it. Sometimes if you have a camera too close, even with your phone, it looks like a bit of a eye fish effect. So your face looks a bit like bubbly, but it, it was just like... Those comments as well are really, really loud because one said, you are allowed to look over 20. Madonna on another planet. Yes, mama smoking that crystal light. You don't even look the same. Well, you're not supposed to look the same at 20 and you're in the 60s, right? But you're supposed to look the same, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's giving, let's say, low-end vibes. Madonna, what is this? And in my opinion, I do think, because you see a lot, uh, she's smoking weed, which nothing is wrong with that, but maybe she's smoking too much, or maybe she's on pills, or maybe on more serious drugs. I do believe as well, so I'm not an expert in surgery. Even if I had mine done not long time ago, but I will never pretend to be an expert in plastic surgery or facelift. I think she had a lot of procedures done in the face, but as well because, especially at the Grammy Award, I do believe she put a bit of weight, which happens with age, you know, slow metabolism, which is quite awful, takes forever to lose two kilos. And as well, maybe due to the drugs or something, she's a little bit bigger and then brings a little bit more fat on the face. And on top of that, she's probably very self-centered. I mean, she's Madonna. And she's probably very scared of aging. She's always being under the public eye and criticized. Oh my gosh, how can she cope with all that, you know? And then I'm pretty sure she had a lot of fillers, not in one time. Time, but if you've missed my videos about everything you need to know about my facelift or any type of facelift, I will link it below. It will be linked here as well. But the reason is when you have a facelift is to pull your skin, is to remove your saggy skin. A facelift will not give you volume on your face, except if you have fat transfer or if you had fillers. But if you don't want to have a facelift and a very young age, I would say beginning of 40s, let's say when you start losing volume on your face, you want to add some volume on your cheeks and you had some fillers. And then a year after, you're adding more and then it's accumulating and then maybe you have a bit of a body dysphoria. You don't realize your face just look too wide or too puffed up, you know? Watch to the end because I found a couple of photos of what would Madonna would look like if she aged naturally. So Madonna being Madonna, of course, she created a, a video. And again, that give me a different vibe because it's not a direct response, but at the beginning, she put this video. I found it on Instagram. So the video say, I forgive you. And again, it give me a bit of the creeps. I know, I know, I love the song too, amazing song, but Madonna, what the F is happening here? <laughs> and Madonna said, I've already forgiven. Yeah, I don't think the fans did. I've already forgiven you. So the comment said, this is terrifying, so sad. You are not the Madonna I remember growing up. Same here. Love is remix. Same here. So cringe, my God. Oh my gosh, Madonna, where's your team to take care of your social media and put that back on tracks, you know? This is what I want to say. She also had yeah, a article or it was something on Instagram. I'm not sure because I couldn't find her Instagram when she said that. So, but I found an article talking about that. In a statement posted to Instagram on Tuesday, the singer who has won seven Grammys over a four-decade career lamented that chatter about her appearance had overshadowed an otherwise groundbreaking moment at the award show. The 64-year-old singer denounced 
the entertainment industry for its biases against women who have continued to work long with the career. Once again, I am caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in. She said, a world that refuses to celebrate women past the age of 45 and feels the need to punish her if she continues to be strong-willed, hardworking and adventurous. She said she has never apologized for any of the creative choices I've made, nor the way that I look or dress, and I'm not going to start. I have been degraded by the media since the beginning of my career, but I understand that this is all a test and I am happy to be trailblazing so all the women behind me can have an easier time in the years to come. And she quote Beyoncé from a song from this year ceremony, You Won't Break My Soul. Whew, this is so strong and I'm like oh what should we take from that and she's totally right first of all I mean from 40 years of an amazing career and bashing her again because of the way she looks I mean what 40 years ago is because she was throwing her knickers in the crowd she did that in Paris the president at the time loved her so she always gonna pro- be provocative she's always gonna be a strong woman and she's always gonna be this type of woman not to tell her what to do I totally agree but still something is wrong with her face still something is wrong sometime with a post she's posting on tiktok and on instagram and again it's not because i'm a big fan that i pretend to know her because i don't but i understand the point of view and i'm glad she made this thing which is again over criticized by other people and i don't want to do that here i'm just saying please take care of yourself madonna you're probably never going to watch this video, but we truly love you and we're just a little bit concerned because it's being creative, have a bit too much of plastic surgery, but something is just a bit off. <laughs> My heart is breaking and we talk about, I'm the biggest fan, I'm talking about if I have to nominate someone, but even now saying you're a big Madonna fan, people are going to judge you because she's a bit off the rails, but she always going to get my love. I always will dance to her music and sing terribly to her music. So again, they've done a bit, I find those photos and I can't find a bit of the credit because it was on two different websites claiming they create those photos and the layout is the same. But again, do not forget, they always do that to have like a more like a wow factor. They pick the most touch-up photos with filters, face tune and everything. But this is how Madonna would look like if she didn't have any plastic surgery, Botox, fillers, anything else. So the first one, as you can tell, it would be probably some one from the movie Levita, I will say. And of course, on the left, what she looks like when is obviously super, super filtered. It's not even her. They should put more like a video, a photo of her for Levita. And when she looks like, she, she still looks like a beautiful woman. And I love the second one. It's probably one of my favorite. This is what she will look like if she hasn't done anything. And you do recognize Madonna on this one. When you compare to the left one, you said, okay, the hair is the same. <laughs> That's the only thing I recognize. The eye shape, the nose, the lip, the, the, the face, everything is different. It's like a different person. Just let me know what you think about it. If you're a big fan of Madonna, please spank the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. 60% of you forget to subscribe. That's a lot. This is why I remind you every time. And please let me know in the comment section because I'm surely not the only one to absolutely adore Madonna and have my heart broken with what's going on right now. So let me know your foot because I'm definitely going to read every comment. Mwah! You take care of yourself. Thank you so much for joining with me today. And watch this. Click here. And you take care. Bye.